This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how you can simulate the appearance of a curved gradient following along a path like you see here in the thumbnail of the uh, video. And traditionally with Inkscape uh, there's usually only three different ways you can create gradients which is linear where the gradient goes from left to right or up and down or some variation or radial where the colors uh, function in the shape of a circle or some sort of ellipse or uh, recently they introduced mesh gradients which is using multiple different colors in different planes like for example you have blue in this corner green in this corner and so on but there's really no way to create a gradient that follows along that follows along a path like you see here on the thumbnail but we can simulate the appearance of this which we're gonna do here in Inkscape so uh, let's go ahead and open up Inkscape I'll go to file document properties and I'm just gonna change the display units to pixels I'll turn off the page border, close out of that. I'll go to view, make sure there's custom selected, and then we'll zoom in, view, zoom, zoom in at one to one. And then I'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create the path that the gradient is gonna follow. So like you see here in this thumbnail, I have the word ink in sort of like a, uh, a cursive font, but in this tutorial, I'm just going to do something really simple so it doesn't crash my system while I'm trying to record this because this is rather CPU intensive. So uh, I'm going to grab the Bezier pen, which is over here, and uh, or you can just press B on the keyboard for that. I'm going to grab the Spyro. Uh, I'm going to change where it says mode. I'm going to change that to create Spyro path, and I'm just going to click and drag and create a Spyro path, maybe like that. Go ahead and click Enter to finalize that. I'll move this off to the side. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a circle. So I'll grab the circles and ellipses tool and I'll hold control and shift and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And I'll convert that to a path by going to path, object to path. And let me just get rid of that outline. I'm just going to hold shift and click X to get rid of that outline. And we want to make that circle the same color that we want our gradient to be. So this gradient uses uh, green and blue. So I'm going to make this a linear gradient of green and blue. So let me change the color of that circle to blue. Something like that. And then from the fill tab, I'm gonna click on linear gradient. And then I'll just click on this stop right here. And I'll choose uh, green. So we have a green to blue gradient. And let me go to the select tool. Oops, go to the select tool. Click on it again to get the rotation handles. And I'm just gonna hold control and rotate this around so that the gradient is going diagonally like that, as you see there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use an extension within, within Inkscape called Scatter, and it's gonna take this circle and create a bunch of duplicates going, around, going along this path that's gonna create the illusion of a bent gradient. And in order for this extension to work properly, you have to make sure that this circle is layered above this path. If it's beneath that path like this, the extension will not work. So make sure you click the button that says raise selection to the top so it's layered above this path before you do anything. So uh, once you've done that, with that selected, I'm gonna hold shift and click on the path and then I'm gonna go to extension, generate from path and scatter. And from this menu here, we want these two unchecked. Uh, pattern is vertical, we want that unchecked. Original pattern will be cloned we want to create duplicate copies of these two things instead of finalizing them so we can go back and create others if we want and uh, duplicate uh, duplicate the pattern before documentation yes if pattern is a group pick uh, group members no and pick group members randomly and uh, space between copies I'm gonna start out at negative 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and click live preview and see how that looks and that will give you a sense of how the extension works it took the circle and created a bunch of copies going along that path but there's not enough copies of that circle in order for this to work so I'm gonna change this gradually to negative 15 and then see how that looks and it's very important to go about this gradually and do it in little like five point increments like you see like you see me doing here because this is very CPU intensive and if you try starting out with doing something like negative 30 or negative 40 it will lock up the application and it'll stop responding and you'll have to close out of it and restart it. This is actually my third time trying to record this video to give you an idea. So make sure to go about it gradually. I'm gonna change this to uh, 20 now and see how that looks. Okay, now you're starting to get the idea. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna go and create any more. I'm not gonna try 25 or 30 because 
um, I'm just, I don't want to try making this video again, so I'm going to leave that there, but that just gives you an idea of how to simulate the, the illusion of a bent gradient using Inkscape. And once you have it set to a, a preset that you like, you can just go ahead and click apply, and you'll have to wait a minute or two for it to finalize, and it'll be created. You'll have something like this. So uh, that's how you can do that using Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know, and as always, thanks for watching.